Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Better Built Products tutorial video on our trailer pads. This is just a short video to tell everybody about our trailer pads, what they consist of, how they go on in the stall, just things like that. One of the first things we are going to show you is this is an actual finished product right here. This is the trailer pad that you will get in the mail from us when you order. This is what it looks like right here, finished. As you can see, it's got staples in it, number one. We would like to point out that our staples are very short staples. They do not go through the board. As you can see right there, the staples right here. We use very short staples. Barely even goes through the fabric. It's, it's to hold the cover on. So staples has no bearing in the actual product. But if you was to want them out, all you got to do, guys, is it's just simple as that right there. And you can take every staple out within about 15 seconds. But like I say, if you don't want them out, it's not a big deal because they do not go through the board when used. That's number one. Okay, another thing we'd like to show you guys is when installing. What you do is basically you start on the top corners and go back right where the pad originally was at. Uh, we made a mark right here. Just start in the corner. You put you a self-tapping screw or a rivet right there. You can either use a level or you can eye level it. But you just level it out. You go to the other side. Stick your screw right there. Basically, you nail all four corners. Bam. Okay, then from there, depending on the size of the pad, a 60-inch pad, what you do is basically you go every 10 inches and it eventually works itself out until this is your last 10 inch um, mark that you are supposed to screw in which will already have a screw or rivet in. That's how you install the pads. Okay, another thing we'd like to show you is the quality of the pads. Now most pads are generally made the same. They're made with automotive vinyl, uh, good quality vinyl, everything's good there. The one thing our pads or actually two things our pads do differ on is we use good quality foam I know you really can't tell in the video but I mean it hardly bottoms out there I mean you've got to push really hard it's good quality grade cushion grade foam we do use good products or good materials for our products and we like to point stuff like that out because it does make a difference Another thing we'd like to point out is just like this. We use what is a black backed water resistant panel board. I don't want people to get it confused with water proof. There is a difference between water resistant and waterproof. Water resistant means it repels water, water don't stick on it. So it, it basically just does not let water stay to soak into it or anything like that. It's got some kind of chemical in the paper itself that lets water repel off of it and so as you can see i like i like to call this the water test basically because most pads let me scoot this up most pads and this is a pad that we bought from a competitor we stripped it and everything down basically it's the general form of our pad most of it's the same other than as you can see they used a different panel board okay as you can see the water is still sitting on that one now watch this here's the difference in the quality okay pour water on that one and then where this matters is when you are finished with your travels of course what you want to do is most people like to pull it into a either a car wash or they got power washers and they like to wash it and the back of the pads will come apart when this kind of panel board is used as you can already see as you can already see i'm not even really pressing down that hard i mean doing this one handed and it's coming apart this has been sitting on three times longer and as you can see i am pressing down hard as i can basically just to get ours to come apart this right here there is a lot better made panel board like I say it's water resistant as you can see I mean it took all I had just to do that to it 
uh, when the water set there three times longer than this. Now, as you can see, that's where the difference comes in though between water resistant and non-water resistant, which is what this panel board is, because it just sits there and it soaks and it soaks and it soaks until finally it just eats the actual panel board up itself and you have to just replace the pad and that's no good i mean that's that's one reason why we will not use that panel board even if you don't buy from us i mean one thing i would ask is what color the backing is of the panel board because if it's a black back panel board it will last uh, a lot longer than than these cheaper made pads like that uh, that's basically the things that I'd like to show you on this tutorial guys. We appreciate it. We appreciate your business Let us know if we can help you in any way. Give us a call Our phone number is on our website uh, You can write us through eBay whichever way you want to go guys. Thank you